everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Laura of Laura Plans It, and today we are planning in my Erin Condren Neutral Hourly Planner for the week of September 2nd through the 8th, 2019. Now, this week is the first of my two back to school weeks. My daughter will be starting her first ever preschool on Wednesday. So I've pulled out this kit from Planner K. It's kit 158, and it's got some apples and kind of a back to school type theme but it still ha it has some of my favorite colors in it. So I think it's pretty mild as far as back to school themes go. So I'm gonna use this for the week. And then I also have this Dorky Doodles kit that I picked up on sale from Planner Kate. And I think that I'm gonna put some of these first day of school stickers in here. I'm not 100% sure I wanna do that yet, but I pulled it out just in case. Uh, my daughter uses an academic planner for our homeschooling. She does still homeschool even though she goes to preschool. That doesn't start till next week. Uh, my son is the same way. He has an academic planner specifically for homeschooling. So I might save a lot of these things for them in their planners, which is kind of why I bought them in the first place. But I really wanted to do something special for her first day of school. So I pulled that out. I've got this kit here from Planner Kate. Um, because the school year is starting up, things like sports and music and scouts are starting to pick up as well. So you'll see, especially in the next few weeks, lots of things going in our planner and it's going to go from our quiet summer, super filled with white space to appointment, 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 which is why a lot of my hourly planner things are just appointments and agendas. You're not going to see a lot of checklists and to-dos in here. That is what I use my Erin Condren Petite Daily Planner for, which is right here. I use this for my checklists. I use this for my chore lists. I use this for anything that needs to be done throughout the week. So here's kind of a preview of what that looked like. And there will be a plan with me for this week in here as well. So I will put that up in the comment or in the top there for you to see once it's ready. It'll probably be out later this week. But I separate those things because it is really, really important that I am able to see everything that's going on at my week at a glance. And here now it is the weekend before the second. So it's Labor Day weekend right now. I am actually going to plan the next few weeks in advance, which is something that I don't typically do, but because we've got a lot going on, I'm actually this video will be this week and I'm gonna do separate videos, but I'm actually gonna start planning two to three weeks in advance because we are starting to get so busy, especially on weekends with sports, that I might not be able to sit down and plan every week. So I wanna make sure my planner's ready. So that is something that you're gonna start seeing a lot of too, is that my videos are gonna be coming more consistently because I'm gonna be videotaping them a lot earlier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started for the week. When I am finished laying everything out, I will come back and explain everything that I've done.
All right, so this is my week all set up. Now I, again, used Planner Kate Kit 158, and it's got a kind of back to school theme, but it's not super, you know, elementary school teacher kind of themed for me, which, you know, I really love that look, but this is very primary colors and I don't care for the primary colors in my planner. I would prefer to use these for my kids or save those for um, other things. I want my planner to be more my style. And, and this kit, of course, with the teals and the corals, it, it really is. Um, so I'm really loving the way that it looks. I tried something new in here, which is to put this kind of decorative box together. I don't really like it, <laughs> to be honest, but I'm going to keep it in for a couple of reasons. One, I put white out all over these numbers here, so um, <laughs> they're not super functional anymore. Two, I think it's going to remind me there are a lot of things we have to get ready before we can even leave to go to her preschool, so I'm hoping that this big jumbo box in the middle kind of remind me that this stuff needs to get done and it's a high priority um, and three it is removable so in a worst case scenario if I need to put appointments up in here and things like that or if I really 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 can't stand it I can easily pull it out and remove it and life goes on so it's not the end of the world but I wanted to try something different and something new so I did that I have put in um, I, you know I've done my standard planning I've done white out on the 6 a.m.s I've put my thin washi down here. I put these larger, I think they're half box stickers here to mark Labor Day because we don't have work or school and I want to make sure I remember that. Um, primarily the work thing, you know, it just, I don't want to have to feel like I'm getting up and rushing and I'll check this Sunday night before I go to bed. Um, because we homeschool and there's no public school system, um, a lot of times for me the days just kind of roll into one another and so sometimes I forget what day of the week it is uh, until I look at my planner so honestly that is really necessary for me um, to have that in there I also used this half box here to mark my daughter's first day of preschool um, and the reason I use this instead of the first day of school stickers is because they are owls and that is my daughter's favorite animal and so I thought it would be really fun and I use that same decorative box back here as well and I thought it would be really fun to put owls in here because I really wanted to do something that I knew she loved to mark that first day but still keep it my planner so by using the owls I really think that that did exactly what I was hoping to do then I did let's see what did I do next I did my sidebar and you can see here I've done things differently here as well first I've left my habit trackers empty um, it's not September yet it's still August for me and I used this habit tracker to help me focus on my tending list and my power sheets uh, tracking from Cultivate What Matters. So I've left this empty because I haven't decided exactly what my daily um, goals are for September. So I, I, you know, I started working on it a little bit yesterday and I, I've got a little bit more to work on today and I've noticed that my goal, I did my three month checkup that comes in the undated power sheets, which I love, love, love. And I realized that some of my goals had really excelled and done well. And while they were doing really well, some other aspects of my life have really suffered. So I am ruminating on that a bit and deciding what I want to do as far as the next three months and as far as September. And once I figure that out, then I'll come in here and I'll write down, just like you see, I'll flip to the last week. You can see I've got my, and I wasn't really good at tracking them in here because I tracked them in my uh, petite daily as well. But you can see I have um, no extra spending, lunch at home, cleaning the kitchen in the evening, and 10 minutes of self-care. And then the other thing that I did, and I did this last week, I added this later to the week last week, and I've done it this week as well, is I've started a new workout routine, and I've put what exercise I should be doing on the day I should be doing it to help me track and remember. Um, I have the wall organizer centers from Erin Condren, and I have a monthly calendar for it, but that is for our homeschool use, and homeschool doesn't start until next, the following week. So homeschool starts on Monday the 9th for us, but... So I, I mean, right now I'm using it to track my workouts, but I'm going to have to clear it off. I'm going to have to start it, getting it ready for homeschool. So I decided this would be a really great use of this Monday through Sunday. I have tried to use this tracker for so many other things and it's never stuck with me. But this is great because I love knowing what workout I need to do. My planner is almost always with me. So if I'm going to be upstairs working out or downstairs working out, it doesn't matter. My planner is there so I can quickly at a glance look. I'm not running downstairs to see what workout is next. Um, my 
my wall organizers are downstairs and I work out upstairs in my bedroom in a little area we have off to the side. So um, <laughs> it's really nice to not have to do that. So I put that in as well. I have my skinny washi here at the bottom. Now for the prior week, I did this fat like note paper like washi from Planner Kate. I didn't care for it. I didn't use it at all. I remember sitting there thinking at least twice last week, oh, I'd love to write a note just for this day. And this whole box is in my way. So I put the skinny washi here. I'm leaving this blank. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do with it. Sometimes I write in, you know, trash collection. Sometimes I'll write in what meals I'm planning. But I found other places to put that that work better for me. So I'm going to leave it open until I can decide what I want to do with it. Um, and once I do, I'll start adding things in and, and again, just adjusting as the weeks go on. I've added in all of our appointments for the week. So we've got music lessons, baseball practice, our first games of the seasons are here. I've added in the days that my daughter is at preschool and our doctor's appointments. And so that is all in here as well. And then other th and then I put in our meal planning and picking up groceries because those are things that I sit down with my family and I ask them, what do you want for the week to eat? I usually do it on Sunday because it's a holiday weekend. I've actually already purchased groceries for Labor Day. So, um, I put it in on Labor Day at a time. We usually come in around two or three in the afternoon and have some you know, relaxing time before we go out for the rest of the evening or before we grill. On holiday weekends and on weekday, weekends in general, we're usually in around two or three o'clock just for an hour or two, um, unless it's really hot or really cold. So I put that in right about the time we usually come in. And then I put pick up groceries right after our music lessons. I usually try to pick them up really early in the morning, but I think I'm gonna try to kind of combine everything into one trip because I found that we've been coming and going a lot more frequently than we like and last week I really tried to cut back on that and it made a huge difference so um, that's it for what I have in my planner right now as the week goes on I will add boxes for things that we've done so for example you can see last week we did the national kindness challenge um, I have added in what my workouts were and when I did them um, and so I will add things like that as the week progresses uh, but as I've mentioned before, this primarily is my agenda. This is my appointments. This is my long-term planning. All of my to-dos and little things typically wind up now in my petite daily planner. And I do carry both of them with me wherever I go. I have a planner folio. This goes in the planner folio and then there's a pocket in the front of it that I put my um, petite daily. And unfortunately, I don't have one upstairs. I mean, it's actually downstairs by my purse right now, but I, I always carry the two together wherever I go because they do serve different purposes, but they both are necessary for me at this time. I know a lot of people don't like to carry lots of planners, and honestly, I don't either, but I do love the functionality of the Petite Daily because it is so much lighter, and it's only three months. And I do put my to-do list in here, and I do put my um, shopping lists in here. I do put a lot of tracking in here. So this does come with me so that I can reference that, but this is for appointments. This is for future scheduling. This is for um, co-ops and homeschool time. And, and again, you'll see that next week when I start adding in what days of the week and what times we're doing school, you'll start to see that all filter in as well. So that is it for my week. If you like this video, please hit like. If you would like to see more Plan With Me videos in my Erin Condren Hourly Planner or in my Petite Daily Planner, please hit subscribe. And if you tap that bell, that'll turn on notifications so you are always alerted when a new video comes up. And of course, for behind the scenes and sneak peeks, head on over to my Instagram, at LauraPlansIt. Thanks so much for watching.